Hi, welcome to the Discovery Bible Tutorial. This is a brief tutorial about the mechanics of using the Discovery Bible program. In the very near future, we're also going to have a short video taking you through a passage of scripture showing how the features presented in the Discovery Bible can enrich your Bible reading experience and deepen your understanding of God's precious words. Check back from time to time for the next informational video. But let's get started taking a look at how to use this software. Beginning at the top, you'll notice several options. First, it's important to know that the program's default is set to the New American Standard Bible text. That's the upper left window, with the corresponding interlinear Bible in the upper right window, and with the two Discovery Bible reading features displayed. You can easily change this to the King James Version by clicking here. Notice how the interlinear Bible changed to coordinate with the KJV. Also, the third Discovery Bible feature, that is the Golden Concept Words, or the Helps Word Studies, a devotional lexicon, can be highlighted by clicking here. For easier reading, you can enlarge the font by clicking on the View button and then the click, clicking Zoom In until it gets to a size you're pleased with. You can also change the proportions of any of the four windows simply by hovering the cursor over the vertical or horizontal line until you see the double arrow and then sliding until it gets to a size that you like. If you want to reset the default to its original state, simply exit the program and it will be reset once you open it up again. To start, you need to simply type in a scripture reference in the search box. You can type in a whole New Testament book like James, or an abbreviation like JAS or JS. Most standard abbreviations are programmed in. Now click Go you'll be able to read the whole book of James. You can narrow your search down to a specific chapter, like James 2, or a specific verse, like James 2.17. If you type in a specific verse, the paragraph in which that verse is in will be shown. We believe it's best to read any passage in context and the paragraph is probably the smallest unit to catch that context. Now let's go back to the beginning of the book of James. And take a look at the three distinct features of the Discovery Bible. These three key elements are what sets the Discovery Bible apart. There are three items that are not easily shown in any English translation yet are often critical to a fuller understanding of the sacred original text. In other words, there are things the original Greek readers would have clearly grasped, yet they get lost in translation to English. The three features are the emphatic words, the different verb tenses Greek has than English, and the subtle nuances of the words themselves. The two features displayed in the default are the reading features, that is, something that would easily be caught just as you read along. They are the emphasis and the different Greek verb tenses of the original text. The emphasis is pointed out by the use of highlighting and underlining. The verbs are, are flagged by the use of eight special symbols. These are all clickable. A description of each is given in the bottom right window of what these symbols point out. How these elements impact understanding of a passage will be discussed in the next video. The third key element is a Bible study feature. It's the golden concept words, again shown at the top by clicking here. This highlights all the words discussed in detail in the Helps Devotional Lexicon of Word Studies. The highlighted words are those which have beyond translation nuances that impact greater understanding. You'll see even small words like when in verse 2 is addressed in the helps word studies. 
Some of the discussions are more than 50 pages long, especially when theology or doctrine are involved. In order to help you work your way through these longer entries, you can click on Choose a Heading and see what options are available. Clicking on any of these headings will take you to that particular point in the discussion. For example, let's click on Bond Servant, and the article on that word, Strong's number 1401, will be in the bottom left window. Now let's click on Choose a Heading, and then let's pick Summary. You'll notice that a percentage appears at the top of the article. This tells you what point you're at in the discussion. If you find something you wish to refer back to, you can make a note of where it was in the article and return later simply by scrolling to that percentage point. All three Discovery Bible markings are also embedded in the Interlinear Bibles in the upper right window. Just click anything you may be interested in and watch for the two bottom windows to respond. Now let's take a look at the bottom right window. Click on the Home icon and you'll be taken to a table of contents for this section. Please take time to read through some of these articles and get a fuller idea of what the Discovery Bible is all about. If you click on the Concordances button, you'll see everywhere the word you're studying in the bottom left window is used in the New Testament. This changes correspondingly to which translation you've selected, the NAS or the KJV. All the scripture references are hot, so go ahead and click on any reference that you like and you'll be taken to that Bible passage in the upper left window. This program is still in process, and our wonderful programmer, Dr. Ulrich Sandborg-Peterson, makes improvements as his schedule allows. Please check for updates by clicking on the Help button at the top of the program, and then check for update. Now that you know how to navigate your way through the Discovery Bible software, you're ready to start reading through first century eyes and discovering things that previously were out of view.